Hey guys, it's Chris. From famous writers to celebrities to the common man, join me as I reveal nine people who tragically lost their fortunes. Number 9. Mark Twain When it comes to legendary writers of American history, Mark Twain, whose real name is Samuel Clemens, is without a doubt one of the most important writers of his or any other generation. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and Puddin' Head Wilson are just some of the stories that he's known for. He was also revered for how he stuck up for the working class citizens of his time, which is why he used a pen name to sell his works. He believed in helping out the little guy, even though he himself was rich by a very large margin. But what made his fall from grace in terms of his money was that while he was a fantastic writer, capable of making incredible stories from top to bottom, he also felt he was a man who could do business rather well, when in fact he was kind of terrible at it. Over the course of his professional life, Mark Twain made many bad investments, one that slowly but surely wiped out his fortune, including trying to make his own publishing machine, his own typesetting machine, and much, much more. Eventually, his debts were so grand he had to go on a speaking tour, as well as file for bankruptcy. Here's another interesting fact, he had the chance to invest in the telephone, but he just didn't feel the contraption would work in our civilization and that people wouldn't want to have one in their homes. Ooh, missed big on that one. Number 8. Vincent Van Gogh Now, depending on who you talk to, Vincent Van Gogh is one of the most important and talented artists in the history of the world. He's specifically credited for helping promote the style known as Western art, which is obviously quite popular to this day. Just as important, though, the man had such a passion for painting that over the course of about 10 years, he made about 3,000 works of art, including portraits, landscape pieces, and oil paintings. Today, to own an original Van Gogh piece will set you back millions of dollars depending on the quality. That said, Van Gogh died broke. His family was said to be middle to upper class, but because of Van Gogh's mental illnesses and questionable personality quirks, including his heavy drinking and going to brothels quite often, any money he did have, he just spent, including what he got from his family. The tragedy here is that Van Gogh knew he wasn't well and he felt that he wouldn't get any better. But instead of trying to get better, he partook in his unhealthy habits, and that led to many psychotic breaks and a suicide by his own hand. And it was only after his death that his works truly became appreciated. Number 7. Bernie Madoff's Victims Over the course of history, there have been many con men who've duped other people into giving them their money for the promise of a huge return. And in the modern era, very few have done more harm to millions than Bernie Madoff. For this was a man who defrauded people of $65 billion by the time he was done with his Ponzi scheme. The largest amount defrauded by a single individual in the course of human history. While it's hard to say that this could have been stopped before it grew out of hand, it did almost continue had Madoff not confessed to his sons about what he'd done. Madoff owned an investment securities business and he made his success over years of hard work until he was one of the biggest names on Wall Street. He brought in family and specialists to help further his growing business and success. Except by this time, it was already a Ponzi scheme. His books were cooked, as they say, and people even were able to prove it at the time during the scheme's rise, but no one listened to them. All told, millions were hurt by Madoff and billions of dollars were gained and lost in order to continue funding the Ponzi scheme to keep up appearances. Many people lost all they had because of Madoff, and many will truly never recover from it. Number 6. The People of the Great Depression While the term fortune means something different to every person, most of the time it does involve money and valuable items. And in United States history, no greater loss of money and valuables happened than the Great Depression of the 1920s and 1930s. This Great Depression happened in 1929 when the stock market of Wall Street crashed and in the process caused millions upon millions of dollars to be lost. And those who had invested in the stock market suddenly found themselves very much broke. Even the upper class of America found themselves in a tight spot with their own money issues. But this was just the start, because very few people had money they couldn't go and spend it. And thus, many businesses and companies were forced to close their doors, which in turn caused a widespread epidemic of unemployment. 
At the height of the depression, 15 million people were without jobs. And by 1933, over half the banks in the United States had failed because they just weren't able to keep money in them from people withdrawing everything they had. The Great Depression lasted well over a decade, and it was World War II after the events of Pearl Harbor that helped get the United States out of it because of the manufacturing and war efforts that were going on. But for those 10 plus years, it was some of the hardest times in America. Number 5. Maureen O'Connor there are many ways to lose a fortune that you've gained, and one of the most tragic by far is losing it because of sadness and grief over a loved one, which is exactly what happened to Maureen O'Connor. She was the widow of Robert Peterson, who was the founder of the Jack in the Box fast food chain that started in California. Maureen was running for San Diego City Council when she met her husband, and they tied the knot in 1977. Fast forward then to 1994, Maureen had been out of office as mayor of San Diego for two years and her husband had just died. As part of his will, she got $50 million. But the loss of her husband hit Maureen O'Connor hard, and so she developed a very serious addiction to gambling. And through that, she actually had billions in debt, and she had to steal from her husband's nonprofit to try and cover the bills. While she wasn't jailed, she did have to repay everything she took, and it left her penniless as a result. Number 4. Nicolas Cage At one time, actor Nicolas Cage was one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. He'd starred in many movies, and it got him famous. Movies like Con Air, Face Off, and more. He even won an Oscar for Best Actor at one point in time. At his peak, he had over $150 million to his name, making him, at the time, one of the richest stars in Hollywood. But what Cage had in acting ability, he kind of lacked in impulse control. For Nick Cage realized that he had money to spend, and so he spent it on just about anything and everything that caught his eye and more. He had numerous houses around the world, spent millions on a crypt in Louisiana, despite him being alive and in good health. He also spent millions on things like comic books and other ventures. By the time 2009 came around, Cage had to file for bankruptcy, and he's been known recently to take less than stellar roles just to help pay off some of the debts he still owes. Number 3. Sean Quinn Sean Quinn was very much a self-made man. He started Quinn Cement in Ireland and was really quite successful with it. Then, like many other businessmen before him, he decided to go and branch out into another field of business, including founding Quinn Corp which was a major benefit to Ireland in regard to the hospitality sector. And to be clear, every single one of his businesses up to a certain point were very much legitimate. No shadow games here. However, at the peak of his money power, which was about 4.7 billion euros, he decided to go and invest in a bank, specifically the Anglo-Irish Bank. And this would prove to be a bad move, as the financial crisis of 2008 would devastate the bank, and by extension, Sean Quinn and his family. He had to file for bankruptcy, and to make matters worse, he was being sued for using his influence in the bank to get loans for his properties. Quinn not only lost everything he worked so hard for, he also went to prison for nine months. Number 2. Nikola Tesla History states that Nikola Tesla was either one of the most brilliant minds of the time, or some kind of crackpot genius who was more science fiction than actual science. And the truth, as is usually the case, is a bit in the middle. Tesla was indeed a brilliant inventor, and he helped advance electrical inventions, including making the AC motor and many power systems we still use today. However, despite his fame and genius, he wasn't the best at spending and gaining money. In one case, he was offered a royalty deal by Westinghouse Electric Corporation, who he had helped grow with his inventions. But in order to help save the company, he tore up the contract and instead took a one-time payout, literally costing him billions. He also spent much of his fortune on inventions that never went anywhere, including on a tower that would transmit free electricity across the Atlantic Ocean. It didn't work. Add that to his mental issues and his war with Thomas Edison, he lost all he had and died in debt. Number 1. Lottery Winners For many people, the idea of winning the lottery is considered a godsend, mainly because many of the people who win the lottery don't have a chance to make that kind of money in any other way. So the notion of suddenly having millions at your disposal is rather intoxicating. However, that same intoxication of joy has led many to sorrow, depression, and even death. Because though many people win the big lotteries, just as many blow through that money in a record amount of time. It's said that 70% of all big lotto winners, and that means the ones that earn tens of millions of dollars, lose all of it in the span of just a few years. 
While having this happen to a few people is almost expected, having it happen to so many, including ones that are responsible with money, well, it's kind of tragic. What's more, the number of people this happened to is so great that a term has been applied to them known as the lottery curse because somehow, some way, they just lose their money and are actually worse off than they were before the lottery win. And many who've been victim to this curse have said they wish they never won the money in the first place because it changed them, their families, their friends, and their whole lives. And they just weren't ready for that. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think about these tragic stories of people losing their fortunes? Do you know of any other tragic fortune going to waste because of people not being smart with their money? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.